Welcome to Fully Charged. The hottest ticket in town lately was the Blade Runner themed unveiling of the Tesla Cybertruck and we were excited to be there. Even more so thanks to Alex Guberman of e for electric who got our camera woman into the event and spared everybody my bad iPhone camera skills. A visceral aspect of attending one of these events live is the camaraderie among fans paying tribute to their hero. So we wanted to hear what some of the attendees thought. I think he's going to deviate a little bit from the script. Yeah. I think he's going to do something a little bit different, but he's going to kind of keep it in the zone. Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveiled. And tonight, he just completely threw off expectations. But even before the glass window mishap heard round the world, their disbelief of what rolled on stage was wildly obvious. So you flew from Miami to here just for this event. Yes. As Tesla fans, it's probably fair yep. to say. What did you expect when you got here? Um, well, I had, I personally had some guesses about the car and what come, you know, what might come with it. And yep. like one guess um, was that there would be another vehicle on the car, because if you have a pickup truck, you want to put something on the pickup truck, right? Although Elon Musk at some point said it would be able to carry another car or even another pickup truck from the size perspective, I guess it could be something like a motorbike. Yeah. And as it turned out, I was right with yeah. that. The ATV. So the <coughs> ATV yeah. you kind of anticipated. Yes. Otherwise, is the design, is the truck what you expected? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's completely different. It's something that I would not have expected and simply because any other car manufacturer in the world would build a car that looks like something you would expect and if they do something different they would do it in a way that you know okay it's just like it's just a car that would never hit the market that way yep. but in the case of Tesla I thought okay whatever they put up on stage tonight it will hit the market just like that the specs seem decent or at least what everyone sort of expected reasonable towing Absolutely. Good propulsion, and their capacity, reasonable battery, reasonable and everything, price. yes. But and so this is an aesthetic problem is what I'm maybe hearing. You know hearing. what, <laughs> it, uh, we, we, it looked like a, a DeLorean in a sense it was all stainless steel and it was yeah. sort it was it, it served its purpose but not what we expected as far as a F-150 right. or a Chevy Silverado type. Yeah. And so do you still think they're trolling? That this is just a weird I little bit to do? Are. I do, it's so weird. Even at the very end, we were looking for the one, okay guys, thank you very much. We're gonna roll up the one that's really gonna sell. And if there are changes, I think it, it's gonna be like, the car's gonna be better, but it's not gonna be worse. It's not gonna be like, kind of like over promise, under deliver, that's not gonna happen. Right. I think it's the other way around. It's like what, what we've seen tonight, for me is the design will be like you've seen it tonight. Okay. There may be kind of like some sort of side mirrors, maybe right. cameras. Yeah, we were talking about what might be legally exactly. required. Yeah, there are no logos on the car as well, and of course, like the car need to match like every market's legal requirements. Yeah. But from a design perspective, from a look and feel, that's it. Like that car is so different that I feel that anyone who has a serious truck, that <laughs> that car is going to beat it seriously. So what what you want is like if you want that real thing, that real yeah. truck you buy that car, you don't go for anything else. So you think the F-150 drivers are going to yeah. basically want to replace their farm trucks, their work trucks, Big time. with that? Yes. So you expect it will hold more, do more, go yes. more places than a Model X? Yes, per se. definitely. I hope you're right. Me <laughs> look too. Forward to <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Everybody had an idea of what the truck would look like. Yeah, and many of them were slab-sided, angular, and I said, no, there's no way. It's gonna have some curves, it's gonna have some shape like his other cars. They've always been very cohesively designed. And this truck literally looked like that CAD drawing yeah. that I said earlier. It looked like they just took angles on a very old software program and put them together. Right. And I guess, in a way, if you look at it, it's genius because the, the the economics of putting that together in terms of panel stamping, uh, functionality, ease of assembly are probably there in a way that they aren't with any of the other cars. 
think it'll definitely sell. The problem with this product is I don't think it has as broad an appeal. Yeah. Even if it was perfect, it would not have as broad an appeal as uh, a Model 3 or a Model Y. It just yeah. not that many people need that pickup. Now, he's correct. The F-150 sold over 700,000 units last year. But I think it's a viable product. And who knows, you know, there's so much upward energy in the electric car market that I think it'll, it'll make a good case, good business case for the product. So it's been a kind of crazy evening, very busy, clearly lots of love for Tesla and Elon no matter what, but also kind of seems like no one really saw what they expected tonight. Clearly a very quirky design, some interesting specs, but everyone sort of believes this is not the real thing. They're giving rides outside, so I'm gonna go get in line, but we look forward to seeing probably somewhere down the road what the actual product is. Meanwhile, thanks for joining us on Fully Charged. Whatever your opinion on the Cybertruck, one thing is for sure. The electric vehicle market is really heating up. Come see many of the newest models available in the U.S. at Fully Charged Live in Austin, Texas on February 1st and 2nd. Plus, choose from 30 live sessions, including one called How Far Ahead Is Tesla and Can It Be Caught? So if you have been, thank you for watching. <laughs>